Good afternoon everyone, it's Garrett and in today's video I'm bringing you guys a tutorial talking about how to make your own branding, identity, you know, presentations or mockups. These are actually super key for your portfolios for college and for basically showing off to companies and other clients that you can do a lot of other things. So right here on my portfolio, actually if you head over to my Behance, I'm going to show you guys a quick example of my brand identities that I do. This is probably one of the cleanest ones that I have done is for the Vicious Hunger and it's basically just showcasing the logo, a little bit of branding and going along, maybe some line work and then of course the t-shirts and controller. So like I've done these a whole bunch of times. I kind of follow the same style that I'm going to show you guys, which is actually super clean to do and it's actually very easy to do. And uh, I am going to provide you guys with a bunch of downloads and a bunch of websites. So uh, go ahead and if you haven't already, I made a video talking about branding mockups and Graphic Burger specifically. Basically, if you head over to graphicburger.com, you guys can actually download mockups basically for free. Um, some are actually paid, but these are definitely something that you guys want to look into just because it makes your portfolio just that much better. Better. and once you guys you know find a bunch that you want to do you guys can you know, come back go different websites there's like original mock-ups or free mock-up world or whatever the websites may be but uh, some do cost money but of course some others are free and it really depends on your logo you want to use like you don't want to go ahead and use a mascot logo on a you know a cup or a mug or you want to use like, a really professional logo on like a t-shirt like you want to do that kind of stuff make sure you're putting the logo in the right places if you guys want a separate video on that I could totally make it and the last thing I do want to talk about is my friend is starting to stream and if you guys can go ahead and follow his Twitch account, it's twitch.tv slash mlgkaski. At 100 followers, I'm going to be doing a little giveaway on my YouTube channel, maybe like a tablet or something like that. But uh, basically, he's starting out streaming, you know, MWR and uh, IWGBs and UMGs and stuff like that. So uh, definitely go ahead and follow him and basically when it hits 100 followers, I'll be notified obviously and I'll go ahead and make a little giveaway for you guys. So everything will be in the description below that I'm talking about. All right, so let's get straight into it. So the first thing you guys are actually going to need is a Photoshop. So I have a bunch of mockups already uploaded that I'm going to be using. Um, this one's also for free. This is a sports template jersey mockup. I paid for these t-shirts and then you have a controller that is also for free. So you guys can go ahead in the description and download the controller and the jersey. But uh, really the first thing you want to do is open up the logo that you want to make it for. So in this case, um, let's just go to my clients and I can use just a Vicious Hunger logo because it's probably the easiest one. So I'm just going to open up the regular logo that I have. It's just basically the, you know, the full logo. And now that you want to do that, you basically want to find a good size to use and a good you know height that you want to use. Personally, for my Behance projects, I love using the width of 1400. I feel like it looks super clean. That might be just me, but you know, go to 1400 and just for the height, go like 800 for now and just hit create. And this might be a little too big, but we can obviously hit the crop tool right here and just basically size this down a little bit. So it's nothing too crazy. And then we're just gonna have to drag the logo in and then we're gonna start messing around. So you can do this a bunch of different ways. You guys can do it how I do it, separating it by two different um, color schemes in the background or you guys can just put it on like one color scheme in the background for this tutorial I'm gonna try something different um, that I haven't done before what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the logo just right in the middle um, luckily enough I do have the guidelines on CC that it just clicks right in the middle so I have my logo basically centered in the middle I'm gonna take the other copy I'm gonna drag it straight in and I'm actually gonna put it behind this logo and maybe move it over so it looks a little bit cleaner Double click on this background layer and just make it black for now because you know a black color really does more a lot more with this you know you can size it somewhere else you guys can put this wherever you'd like um doesn't really matter i'm not going to blur it actually because i feel like when you blur something that this clean you kind of lose the um quality so i'm going to lower the opacity just a little bit maybe like 28 percent so basically i'm going to actually come over to here and click on my eraser and make it you know a pretty big size um no hardness and you can mess around just like kind of erasing stuff behind the logo and around it but like i said i really like keeping this kind of style clean so i'm going to take all of that away and now we want to work by um going down some levels so of course i'm going to add a little black bar right here and don't make it too big just make it like a size that you think would look good and then we're going to actually put it below the top layer click on this crop tool and when you click on the bottom and drag it down you see how you can see where the thing finally ends and we're going to basically we're just going to keep doing it this way we're going to keep adding layers in a very easy way like this so put that there and then we could take the vicious hunger logo again and just basically hold all and make a clipping mask onto this layer just so we have that kind of clean color coat right there 
So once we do this, we're going to start working more into branding it. So I don't like putting everything, you know, separate or everything together. I like kind of mixing, mixing and matching everything. So right here, I have this sports texture jersey and uh, it's really easy to use. All you have to do is double click on this little logo right here and you can basically just drag in your logo, paste it in and then just size it down. And then when you put it in the middle, all you have to do is click enter, hide that background layer, go to file, and then go to save. Don't go to save as, but go to save, and it's gonna say something about whatever. And then it's basically close out of this, and then if you go to your sports templates, it's gonna be there. So I'm gonna make that background black. I'm actually gonna merge these layers together because I already know that I'm gonna be done with this. All I have to do is cut that out, come over to my project that I'm working on, paste it in, and then we're gonna size it so that the width is actually the same. And this is just a really easy process that I like doing. And of course, put it to the bottom, click that all or that crop tool and just bring it down to the bottom. And then we can leave it this way or we can actually cut off like a little bit of the top and a little bit of the bottom. Personally, I think cutting off a little bit of the top and bottom looks really nice. And then you can paste that up there. And now that we have that, it's really going back into my portfolio to see what else I do. So I really kind of just do random things. I don't really do the same thing over and over again. I do sometimes like to showcase the um, outlines of the logo, but however, sometimes I really don't do that. But most of them I actually do. This one I do not. But uh, we can really show like the other versions of this logo. So all you have to do is pretty much, you can take that top layer that you used before, or you can just take your crop tool just make this a little bit bigger, just so you have a bigger gap to work with. And then you're gonna take a just regular rectangle and you're gonna size it straight into the middle so everything reaches the sides and you're gonna grab a little ruler and put it straight in the middle. So once you put that in the middle, it should just click, like you see how my thing just snaps into place. We're gonna take this rectangle, hit Control T and bring it to one side and we're actually gonna just take the logo that we're gonna be using. If you guys do not have, you know, separate versions of this, I recommend not doing this. But of course, if you are very fortunate enough to have, you know, the text logo versions and then other ones, I definitely recommend doing this. So all we're doing is basically taking the logo, the different variations of it, and we're putting it just straight in the middle. And we could take this and we're gonna take either the orange in the background and we're not going to touch the stroke color because the stroke color looks kind of weird. So you can either touch the black or you can touch the orange. I'm going to touch the black on this one. And then we're going to grab the text logo. I'm going to grab the black version. I'm going to paste this over here. And the reason why I'm grabbing the different kind of color strokes is because once you're all finished, you can have like the different kind of contrasting colors. And I'm just trying to size this up so it looks halfway decent. You can put that right in the middle, duplicate that rectangle and drag it over here and do the same thing. But we're this time we're actually gonna grab this yellow or orange, whatever looks better. I think the orange looks a little bit cleaner, maybe a little lighter bit. And we have this so far. So really you guys can see that it's coming along very nicely that it's a very good branding project and you can start doing your other mock-ups. So like personally, if you're gonna do a controller design that I have right here, this is actually really easy to do. All you have to do is open up this put design here and just drag in the logo. And I don't like doing too much to the logo. I just drag it in, put it in the base and then like put it in the background, make a new layer. And I'll make the background black. And basically I can just put the logo like right in the middle and it doesn't look half bad, honestly, but I would definitely, you know, mess with the color gradients in the background. So, you know, make a new layer. I'd make the background black. Maybe take your brush and, you know, darken up the undercoats of the controller. Just like this, just to kind of create a little bit more depth. And then once you're kind of happy with this, all you have to do is really just merge them or group them. And then if you merge, you're gonna hit Control E. And then basically you guys can just drag it into your branding project and just place it in. And like I said, it's really easy to do. All you have to do is size them. So make sure that when you hit Control T, the corners touch the corner, so that corner will be there. And then this side obviously will have to touch on this side. Bring it down, grab that crop tool, and once again, just bring this all the way down. And then you can hit enter, and then you can have you know your little controller design. 
And you can add, obviously, lighting, like you can make a new layer on top of it and hold alt and make a clipping mask, grab your brush or whatever you'd like to use. And just make like a light source at the top. Doesn't really matter, honestly, it's basically up to you. But I would really look into making more of these stuff. So like this is basically the whole process that I do and I can show you guys how I actually make the outlines. So this is actually really easy to do. If you guys have Illustrator, that's how you make your logos. If you head over to your, no, your files, open up the Illustrator file. And it's really simplistic to do and really easy. But uh, before this even opens, I wanna talk about my portfolio. So if you guys can go ahead and just check everything out, that'd be much appreciated. But uh, basically, this is gonna be a little more inspiration for you guys. So you can see like how I do stuff, how I brand stuff. And I'm gonna show you guys how I made this stroke next. But uh, you can see that it's just very easy to do and uh, it's just very clean. So definitely look into these when you guys are making your own or go on you know, Behance itself. So for this, what we're gonna do is you're actually gonna take the whole entire logo and you're gonna highlight it. And believe it or not, this is super easy to do. You're gonna take right here on this um, you know, solid color, click none, and then hit the stroke probably to like two. And then you're going to have this kind of really cool stroke around everything to kind of show the outlines of the text, outlines of everything else. And you can basically do it for everything. And the reason why I like doing this is because, you know, it's very clean. It's not like a very overused thing. So it's just very clean to do. And then I'll just save them on AI. I'll save them as a PSD or PF, PDF, AI, whatever the case might be. And then basically just import them into Photoshop again. And then I'll place them around everywhere. But uh, I don't want to go too long into this tutorial. We're already 12 minutes in. I don't want to bore you guys to death. But this is really the whole entire thing that I do. I make this very big branding project. And I use like these templates like the fold in t-shirts. And if you guys do want more mockups, you guys can type in like originalmockups.com. It's a really good site. Um, not everything is free. However, you know, I do really highly recommend paying for your mockups because it's just something else. But basically, that's going to be it for today's tutorial. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know, let me know in the comment section below as well. Um, other than that, guys, just make sure to check out my friend's Twitch channel and uh, keep subscribing and liking the videos. And if you guys did enjoy this, like I said, let me know in the comment section below and leave a like. And I'll see you guys in my later on video. Peace out.